Hi again, I'm Linda V. Taylor, and I want to show you how to stop and start on your quilt. You don't have to bury your threads unless you love doing it. If you love doing that, just keep doing it. But you don't have to do that. It's not one of the standards, and if it's done right and you can't see your stop and start, then you are in great shape. So let me show you how to do that. If you're going to stop and start in different places, then of course you have to go down and get your thread up. Always bring your bobbin thread to the top. And then I just put my finger right there and I take little tiny stitches in the direction that I'm going to be sewing. And they are very little tiny stitches. I'm thinking 25 stitches to the inch. So that's about a quarter of an inch. And um, then I will sew. I'll stop. And then I'm going to take little tiny stitches in the direction where I'm going to stop. So I don't want to stop in the very same place um, that I want to end up. I want to stop just a little bit ahead of that. And then always push your thread over and go down in that very same hole. So get that needle right over there and then come up. Now the other thing you want to do is um, you don't want to leave little whiskers like that. Uh, you want to make sure that you cut that right off. But that is not going to come out. It's easier if you cut it all off when you're cutting them because you can pull them and cut them. That's not going to come out. You could jump on that bed forever and even with a contrasting thread you really cannot tell that the stitches are smaller. Um, and so I know in your head you think one thing but in reality it turns out to be another thing. So this is the way machine quilters do it all over the world. Congratulations.